ranges from family, lifestyle, interest, um, when I was getting ready to apply to medical school, so I was still between my junior and senior year of college, um, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so that, I didn't know what radiation oncology was until we had to experience it from the patient side of things and the patient's family with my mom. Um, she had a really wonderful female radiation oncologist who said, you know, this is something, she knew I was interested in medicine, and this is something that you really should look into because it's wonderfully rewarding, technically challenging, and it's something that a woman who wants to have both a career and a family can manage. So I said, hey, this is great. Um, so basically I took it from there. I did a fellowship when I was in medical school between first and second year, uh, sponsored by the American Cancer Society at Cooper, uh, because I knew that I was um, a medical student at UMDNJ Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, which we did a, a combination of our first two years in Edison, Piscataway Edison, um, and our second two years at the Camden campus for our clinical experience. So I knew I was going to be coming to Cooper. Um, and that was also really rewarding with uh, the physicians that staffed radiation at Cooper at that time. And they were, you know, helpful. And I just thought it was a wonderfully interesting and rewarding experience for that. So one thing led to another and I ended up doing my residency and ultimately becoming a radiation oncologist.